Congratulations on the purchase of your Lynx Professional Grill. This short video will provide an overview of the grill and its features. To get the most out of your new grill, make sure you read the use and care manual supplied with the unit. Controls and features. Lynx grills come in a variety of sizes from 27 inches to 54 inches. The burner controls are located on the front of the grill. On the far left is the rotisserie burner knob, followed by the main burner knobs, and on the far right is the ProSear infrared burner knob. Each grill comes with a temperature gauge built into the stainless steel hood. To the left of the rotisserie burner knob are the illumination controls. LEDs illuminate the control knobs while the inside of the grill contains a halogen light. The grill hood comes with a spring-loaded Lynx hood assist kit, which makes opening and closing the commercially constructed hood effortless and safe. Below the grill surface are ceramic briquettes, which evenly distributes heat. Underneath the briquettes are the main red brass burners, which are outfitted for either propane or natural gas burners. The ProSear infrared burners are located to the right of the ceramic briquettes. Each grill comes with a removable smoker box and drip tray with alternate light mechanism. Above the grill surface is the removable warming rack for keeping finished foods warm. The rotisserie kit, which includes the spit rod, rotisserie forks, and basting pan. The rotisserie motor attaches on the left side and plugs directly into the main grill. The rotisserie burner is a thin rectangular infrared burner located along the back of the grill. Lighting the grill. Make sure all control knobs are turned to the off position. Open the grill hood completely before lighting. Push in and turn the burner knob to the light position. Hold the knob in for five seconds while in the light position. Always keep your face and body as far away from the grill as possible when lighting. If the burner does not light immediately, turn the burner knobs to off. Wait five minutes and then repeat these steps. Do not light the burners with the grill hood closed. Preheating and getting ready to cook. To preheat the grill, light all the main surface burners with the exception of the rotisserie. Then turn them to high and close the lid. Never leave the grill unattended while preheating. It is very important to preheat the grill before cooking as the ceramic briquettes and grates need to reach the adequate cooking temperature before use. In 10 to 15 minutes, the grill will reach 450 to 500 degrees on the temperature gauge, and the grill is ready for cooking. Remember that the grill grates are approximately 200 degrees hotter than the reading on the temperature gauge. This means that if the gauge reads 450 degrees, the grill surface is closer to 650 degrees. After you've preheated the grill, turn off any burners that you do not plan to use. Using the main grill burners. Today we have the open-faced hood. We're cooking uh, small kebabs. The Lynx red brass burner is very versatile and capable of cooking on different types of heat, low, medium, and hot. If the hood was down, we would put on larger pieces, uh, larger cuts of chicken, larger cuts of meat, or maybe a thick cut of fish. While it's open, we might use the small kebabs like we have here, or a thin piece of chicken, or a thin piece of fish. When the, hood is, when the hood is down, it creates more of a convection oven, more of the sense of uh, getting it hotter and staying much hotter and quicker and searing the flavors in. The Lynx Red Brass Burner is a true commercial burner design and is capable of delivering intense, controllable heat. The burners work in conjunction with the ceramic briquettes to ensure an even grill surface temperature. The burners are versatile and capable of providing the appropriate cooking temperatures for all types of food items. Using the ProSear Burner The Lynx ProSear Burner provides the direct high-intensity heat needed for searing foods. Searing locks in moisture and flavor. The ProSear Burner is great. It allows you to really sear in the flavors of the steak. On cuts of meat like this, using the ProSear Burner, I like to start on high. Sear both flavors in. Once both sides are seared, flip it over, turn it to medium-low, and finish it to your discretion or your best liking. On thick cuts of beef tenderloin like this, I myself like it a medium rare. If you want to carry it to a medium well, all you do is cut it down to a medium low and cook it to your desired temperature. The Lynx ProSear burner has a unique turn down feature 
that allows you to use the burner for more delicate food items like fish, poultry, or vegetables. The best thing about the ProSear burner is the versatility. It works great for beef, but also it's versatile in the sense of cooking a, a great piece of chicken or like we have here, a piece of ahi tuna. On high, we can sear both sides, lock in the flavor, turn it over, sear the other side, cut it down to low, and finish it to your liking. Other than a piece of fish or poultry, we could do, um, we can caramelize onions, cook peppers, and other vegetables like that. Caution. Pouring cold liquids on the ProSear burner will damage the ceramic infrared components. Using the rotisserie. When using the rotisserie burner, this right here, this knob, always on the left of all the grills, make sure all your other knobs are off. To light, push in, turn to light, hold for 15 seconds, and let go. Once that's done, close the lid. It'll preheat in about one minute. Load one of the rotisserie forks onto the spit rod with the prongs facing the pointed end of the spit rod and then tighten the thumb screw. On a flat surface, insert the spit rod into the center of the meat and push through until it is centered on the spit rod. Place a second rotisserie fork into the meat and secure the meat by pushing the prongs together. You may have to tighten the thumb screw with pliers if necessary. It is sometimes necessary to tie the loose bits of meat or the loose bits of poultry together. Use only cotton butcher string. Do not use plastic or nylon string. When rotisserie cooking, always place the drip pan underneath. Make sure the pointed end slides directly into the motor, while the other end is completely set on the other side. Once, once the spit rod is in, close the top and select the speed of rotation. So using the rotisserie motor, we have three speeds, the low, the medium, and the high. When cooking something like a chicken, we want it to spin faster and therefore put it on the high motor speed. When cooking something more dense, like a large roast or a beef tenderloin, we want it on the slow speed to keep all the juices inside. Select a rotisserie speed on the motor. The rotisserie motor has three speeds and two spit rod positions. Meat should be centered and balanced on the rotisserie spit rod for efficient cooking. Use a basting or drip pan under the meat to catch any juices. Keep the grill hood closed when cooking with the rotisserie. Use a temperature probe to test to make sure the meat is thoroughly cooked. Using the smoker box. The smoker box is a great way to add additional flavor to your food. There are a variety of chips that can be used with the smoker box. Always soak the chips prior to putting them in. Load the smoker box with chips. When cool, remove one of the grill grates. Place the smoker box in the open so the front and rear tabs rest on the grill frame and replace the grill grate. Turn the burner to the medium-high setting until the chips begin to smoke. Then adjust the burner to the lower setting, remembering that the burner must stay hot to keep the chips smoking. Add water as needed without removing the lid to keep the chips from drying out. Note that on the top of the smoker box there is a hole for adding the water. Keep the grill lid closed for maximum smoke flavor. Cleaning the grill. For best results, always clean the grill when it's hot. Use a stainless or brass bristle brush. To clean the ceramic briquettes, turn on high and close the lid. After prolonged use, empty the drip tray and clean when needed. Always clean the exterior of the grill with a non-abrasive cloth like microfiber to avoid scratching the stainless steel. There are many different stainless steel cleaners available at your local market. These will clean and help protect the stainless steel components. Warm soapy water is sufficient for most of the exterior cleanup. Refer to the use and care manual for additional features and whenever possible keep your grill covered when not in use. Thanks again for purchasing the Lynx Professional Grill. Enjoy and happy grilling.